Welcome back folks and today we are looking at a corgi. Not this corgi. Not this corgi. But this corgi. So folks, today we are checking out the Mondo exclusive Ein from Cowboy Bebop. Now, me and my fiance, we have two corgis and we absolutely adore them. And we have so much corgi merchandise around the house. This was actually a gift from my fiance and it's the only toy that I'm actually allowed to keep out in the living room, out of the toy room. So I'm pretty excited about this. And I'm also really excited about this because I actually got to talk and meet the sculptor. His name is Alex. His Instagram is fanplastic4 and he does a lot of great work for Mondo and I think for some other companies but I got to chat with him for a few minutes really nice guy met him over on Dave Wonders channel so if you haven't seen Dave Wonders channel he has some great live streams throughout the week he gets a great group of people together so it's just a really fun time so to have a product that is made by someone that I would consider a friend now that we've met um, is pretty cool so I think it's cool to support him and also just cool to have this product because finally there is somewhat of a corgi action figure in my collection. So with that being said, let's get this thing out of the box and check them out. So first, just taking a look at the box, it says Cowboy Bebop right there. Um, I did do some research on Ein, and in, I think in his first appearance, he did come in this little traveling case. When the main characters were trying to purchase him, the lady that was selling him pulls him out of this box. So before I mentioned, our friend Alex there, so Sculpt Alex Brewer. So again, check out his channel, Fanplastic4. Really awesome guy, really amazing work. So really excited to get this open. And the packaging is great. So now again, I've never seen an episode of Cowboy Bebop, so don't attack me. And now before anyone says I'm a poser for never seeing an episode of Cowboy Bebop, I am admitting I am not the subject matter expert on Cowboy Bebop but I am kind of a subject matter expert on corgis. So yeah, I might not be looking at this product from a Cowboy Bebop fan standpoint, but I'm definitely a big corgi fan. This corgi's name is Claude Von Corgi. He's a scientist. And this is Wanda Maxicorg. And when she's angry, she's the scarlet female dog. Wanda's a good girl. <laughs> So just like the mug says, I do suffer from obsessive corgi disorder. But they're really just a great dog, really fun breed. And you know what? I'm gonna have a lot of fun checking this guy out. But the two main pieces of Ayn's story that I know is that he comes in this box and there was a episode where I guess he eats some mushrooms. Good. Hey! So let's go ahead and get this open. As I mentioned before, I think this is the carrying case that Ayn was first introduced in. So appropriately, that is what the package is. So let's go ahead, get it open and see what's inside. So first things first, once you lift this case up, it has some very nice artwork on the inside. Looks like all the gadgets that were inside the show. So pretty cool, remove this piece of foam. I love that there's just a foam cut out of this corgi. I don't know what I could use this for. I might think of something, but that is really awesome. And then here's all you get. So not much. I don't really know what much else has to come with Ein, but at first when I was messing around with this, I thought this was a collar, but I think this is some sort of eye visor. Um, for the Cowboy Bebop fans, let me know. I will not display it with this because um, my corgis do not use this. I don't think they do, but it does come with a bowl with his name on it, and then the actual figure. So we'll get this out and we'll get a closer look. Okay, getting Ayn out of the package, I'm loving him. He has all the characteristics of a Corgi that I'd love to see. Um, he is this pearlescent kind of pink color, and we'll go more into that in a little bit, but he really does have the sculpt of a real Corgi. And I know he's based off an animated character, but the animated character's details really do mimic those of an actual uh, corgi so um, just some of the things that I'm loving about it so just some main things I guess that makes a corgi a corgi is they have almost like a big dog face but then they have kind of the fuzzy body of a dachshund so really funny these dogs are actually bred 
to herd cattle. So they're really quick on their feet, even though they have some stumpy legs. I believe Corgi actually means dwarf, so they are the dwarf dog. Um, but again, they're super fast and they can bank on a, tur on a curve. So just really cool to watch them run around and play. But they got the characteristics down perfectly. Now, just some of the paintwork, and I know this these colors aren't necessarily accurate to Ein himself or a real corgi, but this part right here on the corgi is called a saddle. And that's because there's some cool mythos around the corgis, and this isn't why they have the saddle, it's just a fun story about the saddle. Um, but there's some cool mythos around corgis that fairies used to ride them into battle, so basically fairies were treating the corgis like horses and if they were going to battle something they would hop on a corgi so also the queen's dog so i don't know if that's where the uh, uh myth comes from but corgis are famously known for their cute butts so i think they nailed it right there great job alex so pretty cool so mentioned before he does come with his little bowl with his name on it, Ein. I think there was some discussion of whether it's Ein or Ian, but in the few parts of the show I did watch, they say Ein. Um, and then, when I wasn't sure what this was, um, I looked at some pictures of the product and it actually is a visor for him that you just kind of put on over his head. So, I gotta look up what he does with that. I'm really not sure but pretty cool. So in terms of articulation, it really doesn't have much. Uh, just turn the head to the left, right? That's pretty much all you're gonna get, but he's such a good boy. All right, this is so cool. So now there was a version of this figure that was kind of more natural colors, but this one has that pearlescent pink, and that's because this is glow in the dark, and this thing actually does glow really well. And I've tried it out before, and I'm gonna show you in a minute so we'll get some light on this thing and I can show you how well it actually does glow in the dark. So I find with any glow in the dark items I've got, like I just got some glow in the dark action figures, um, you hit them with any kind of light that has the 3000 lumen and man, it's really gonna glow. So I'll just hit this thing with a blast of light, let it soak in a few minutes each way. Get them nice and shined up. And then we'll see how he looks without the light on. Oh yeah, this thing is so friggin' cool. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it, it holds the glow super well. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this thing is so awesome. So I'm definitely excited to have this piece. Like I said, this is gonna be the only action figure or toy that my fiance is going to let me keep in the living room. Um, but I would love if this came out in any kind of 112 scale uh, variant. This way I can um, paint them up to look like my actual dogs. But this is great representation um, that will be in the house. So pretty excited about this. I mean, he's still glowing pretty well. So this is definitely a really cool product. So if you're a Cowboy Bebop fan or if you're a Corgi fan, um, this is probably for you. So I am of the Corgi fandom um, but maybe this will encourage me to go watch some cowboy bebop so yeah this thing's awesome well, that does it for this mondo toys ein review folks if you enjoyed this episode please go ahead hit like subscribe leave some comments down below should i watch cowboy bebop should i not i heard stay away from the live action show you tell me let me know but until the next episode folks we'll catch you next time